We could easily have the whole base on us. More guards, get them! We've no time. Turn it on. Artyom, turn the turntable on. Turntable on.
Let's do this together. Just a little. Yes. Run. Kill them. Come on. Yes. made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call, and you know misunderstanding. Well, I'll general. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course. Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. If not, all right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! My father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Uh? 
warning. If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill. Fuck me, that's some armor. And look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you were hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said shit. Shit. Stop the engine immediately. Oh, fuck. Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, just stop uh, it. But I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Your back will start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Ah, yes, finally some good sense. Now, keep braking to a stop. Well, grenades will barely scratch their paint, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why are tuned? Because he's starting to talk, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Plastic is you, Jacob.
Now we are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news that. Why the long face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just... Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Oh, yeah. oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, the Bring man. what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> 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 ah, 
It's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? Huh? It's about time. Let's call her Anna and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. Build the bomb. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Come on. How about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh you know what? <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. That sounds okay, but a cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Hey. Full oh, steam ahead. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's, that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. singing of my experience helping people. Told me about weather stations and muted migration observers. I was proud to be helping those. Then, about two months ago, they loaded a bunch of people onto my Aurora. The guards took them outside and came back alone. Told me they took the people to a nearby station, but I knew it had came in years ago. A few days later, I was coming back from a run, stopped the train, went and found those people. Soon they understood I saw that ravine, fed me the usual lies about the spies and whatnot. Did you believe them? Well, it sure seems safer to believe, but then I just couldn't keep the charade up. Then the security officer. Look, Artyom, you should at least get some of that fresh air. No mask. This is what you've always dreamed about. I'm sorry, I interrupted. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. There's not much left to tell. But when I saw you, and then Artyom, I knew I wasn't alone anymore. You can't just keep these things in. Now I understand why you helped us back then. Thank you. Don't mention it. God willing, it won't end up being done in vain. Yes. Have you ever taken a train beyond city borders? No. Didn't get a chance to go. I used to be a metro train engineer. I worked on the ring line. Ha! What a bore that was! Going round and round, all day, round and round, and, and no real distance either. It used to take less than 30 minutes to make the lap. <laughs> so I kept dreaming about how good it would be to just leave the metro and work on a real railroad. And travel around Russia, not to run in circles like, like a rat in a maze. Huh? My wife wouldn't let me. We had kids, too. When I'd start going on about the railroad, uh, about my dream, <laughs> she'd stop sleeping with me for months in protest. <laughs> uh, yes. But when Moscow got hit, my Tatiana and little Sashenka were at home. I was working that day. Irishka was waiting for me in the metro, returning from cram school. 
so we survived together that day. But in the end, I lost her too. TP. Ah, you know how it goes. So, I'm driving here and talking to Tatiana in my head. See, I say, you couldn't stop me for good after all. Here I am. On the real railroad. A real engineer. Danusha. I'm sorry I got so emotional there. Oh, it's my fault. I'm really sorry. And thank you for telling me. Expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. At first, they got me to sign up by singing of my experience helping people. Told me about weather stations and muted migration observers. I was proud to be helping those. So, how did you like that fresh air? Out of this world, isn't it? I thought I'd ask Yermak about where we're headed next. I'm sorry, I interrupted. Uh, it's all right. Don't worry. There's not much left to tell. Then, about two months ago, they loaded a bunch of people onto my Aurora. The guards took them outside, 
and came back alone. Told me they took the people to a...